And so in probability, we talk about some e events being independent events. And so in independent events, we're generally always talking about compound events. In other words, an event followed by another event. An example would be this selection of cardigans. If I were to reach in without looking, pull out a cardigan, look at its color, then put it back, mix up the drawer, and then pull out another cardigan, those would be compound independent events. The outcome of one event has no effect on the outcome of the next. Now, generally speaking, with independent events, you're going to be using the multiplication rule to find out the probability of any one outcome. And you're going to be multiplying the probability of each compound, each step in the compound event. And so I, if I was interested in finding out what the probability of selecting green was from this selection of cardigans, I can see that there are five green cardigans and five red cardigans. And so the probability is 1 half, 5 over 10, which simplifies to 1 half. So here we go. I'm not looking. I'm reaching into the closet. And look at that. I pull out a green cardigan. What are the probability? What's the, what are the odds of that? Well, 1 half. OK. Now, these are independent events. And so what happens is I have to put this green one back and then just randomly look away. As you can see, I'm looking away. I'm not watching what's happening. And I reorder it so that I know that everything is random. And so this is known as selection with replacement. Now, if I want to know what the probability of pulling out a green cardigan followed by a green cardigan is, really, I use the multiplication rule. That's just the probability of pulling out a green cardigan times the probability of pulling out a green cardigan, which is 1 half, times 1 half, which is just 1 quarter.